Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome back to channel, your go-to destination for the latest and greatest in the world of graphics cards. Today, we're diving deep into the future with a topic that's sure to get your gaming hearts racing. And in this video, we're uncovering the absolute best 1080p GPU of 2024. Buckle up because the graphics game is about to level up. Number 5. GeForce RTX 4090 For some, the best graphics card is the fastest card regardless of price. NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 4090 is designed specifically for this type of customer. It also marked the introduction of NVIDIA's Ada Lovelace architecture. And it will be the most powerful card NVIDIA has to offer probably until 2025 when the next generation GPUs are expected. The RTX 4090 has a greater performance gap than the next closest NVIDIA GPU. It outperforms the RTX 4080 in our suite of gaming benchmarks by 35%. It's also 51% faster than AMD's top-tier RX 7900 XTX, but costing around 60% more. To be clear, you will need a high refresh rate 4K monitor to get the most out of the RTX 4090. At 1440 p its advantage over a 4080 drops to 23%, and at 1080 p it's only 13%, and that includes some demanding DXR titles. At 1080 p the advantage over the RX 7900 XTX is reduced to 24%. To get the most out of the 4090, you'll need not just a high-resolution, high-refresh-rate monitor, but also the fastest CPU feasible. Number 4 NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 Ti It's difficult to choose between the AMD Radeon RX 7700 XT and this, the 8GB version of the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 Ti for a quad HD-tuned PC. The Radeon is faster at non-ray traced, native res games, and comes with greater VRAM, 12 gigabytes. But I'd still go with the RTX 4060 Ti. Apart from being substantially less expensive than the RX 7700 XT, some models of which cost almost as much as an RX 7800 XT, it more than makes up for its performance deficit once you start using all of its toys. DLSS upscaling appears to be better than SRs, but there's also the RTX 4060, ties vastly higher ray tracing performance and the option of enabling DLSS 3 to send frame rates skyrocketing. Even basic DLSS upscaling can tip the scales in the RTX 4060 ties favor. It could average 46 eps at 1440 with maximal settings, cycle ray tracing, and DLSS on quality, whilst the RX 7700 XT could only manage 38 eps with quality SSR. The GPU's maximum power consumption is only 160 W, which is 40 W less than the RTX 3060 Ti, despite producing higher frames per second. And you're likely to use even less when playing games. So while the RTX 4060 Ti isn't any cheaper to buy than its processor, it will be more cost effective in the long term. It should also make upgrading from an older system with a modest sub 600 W power supply easier. Even this customer's MSI model requires only a single 8-pin power connector, which was a welcome change for someone who has spent far too much of his life on his knees, painstakingly inserting up to four plugs into the bulky, sometimes melty adapters that higher-end NVIDIA cards now use. The overall performance difference between the RTX 4060 Ti and the RTX 3060 Ti isn't as dramatic. To be fair, it's an improvement, but at native 1440 the new GPU never truly disappears. Aside like Horizon Zero Dawn and Watch Dogs Legion, the RTX 4060 tie rarely appears like upsetting the more expensive RTX 4070. Both GPUs can use NVIDIA DLSS to help them support more titles, but the RTX 4060 tie also supports DLSS 3 and its frame generation capability. This allows it to increase frame rates well beyond what upscaling alone could achieve. In F122, for example, a 62 FEPS average became 121 FEPS with both quality level upscaling and airframe creation. Simply enabling upscaling increased it to 92 FEPS, while non upscaled frame creation increased it to 94 FEPS, but the two together can create frame rates that are significantly higher than the RTX 3060 ties capabilities. Number 3 Radeon RX 7900 XTX The Red Team King is no longer with us. Long live the Red Team King. AMD's Radeon RX 7900 XTX is the company's fastest graphics card, and it ranks near the top of the list with a generational price increase to match. Officially priced at $999, the most affordable variants now start around $950 and supply has finally caught up to demand. The 7900 XTX is in high demand for good reason, since it features AMD's newest RDNA 3 architecture. This gives the 7900 XTX much higher compute power, 
as well as 33% more memory and bandwidth. When compared to the RX 6950 XT, the new GPU is 40% quicker at 4K, 30% faster at 1440p, and only 24% faster at 1080 It also provides that performance gain without significantly affecting power consumption or graphics card size. AMD remains a viable option for anyone who isn't concerned with ray tracing, and when you consider the enormous impact to speed for typically minor benefits in image fidelity, we can see why. Still, the number of games that support RT is growing, and the majority of those also support NVIDIA's DLSS technology, which AMD hasn't fully addressed even if SR2 can come close at times. If you want the best DXR slash RT experience right now, NVIDIA is still the clear winner. The new second-generation Ray accelerators in the RX 7900 XTX enable 4K gaming on ultra settings with ray tracing on an AMD card, something that the previous flagship AMD card, the RX 6950 XT, couldn't quite achieve. Its rasterization performance is also second only to the RTX 4090, but that is an industrial-strength GPU disguised as consumer hardware. The RX 7900 XTX and XT use AMD's cutting-edge RDNA 3 architecture, which delivers excellent rasterization performance. Ray tracing remains a second-class citizen, and while quicker than the previous generation, AMD can't compete with NVIDIA in DXR games. And that doesn't even include DLSS, which is still widely used. AMD had a huge bar to clear with the AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX, and it pulls off a significant upset against NVIDIA's rival RTX 4080 in every manner that it needed to. It isn't always the better graphics card in this or that test, and its ray tracing ability lags behind the RTX 4080, not to mention its creative performance, but with its outstanding overall performance and very competitive price point, it is exactly the type of enthusiast graphics card that our current era requires. Number 2 NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 Despite being a last-generation GPU, the NVIDIA RTX 3090 remains one of the greatest graphics cards available. No game or, more importantly, heavy graphics project will suffer from performance concerns with the huge 24GB of RAM. In reality, we were able to obtain 8K performance at 60 frames per second out of the 3090. However, even three years after its release is still an extremely pricey device, and it is quite huge, so it will most likely be too much GPU for most people. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 is essentially a Titan replacement, meaning it's aimed more at the creative user, tackling intense 3D and video rendering than the passionate gamer. Nonetheless, it is far less expensive than the Titan, making it a steal for creative artists used to spending a lot of money on their tools of the trade. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 is the most powerful graphics card on the market today, offering playable 8K gaming performance as well as jaw-dropping 3D rendering and encoding capabilities. However, this degree of strength comes at a hefty cost. The vast majority of users are unlikely to find it worthwhile, but for creative professionals, whom NVIDIA is primarily targeting with this card, the RTX 3090 is a steal. The RTX 3090, like its smaller sibling, the RTX 3080, is based on NVIDIA's Ampere architecture and employs the full-fat GA102 GPU. This time, we'll get 82 streaming multiprocessors, SM, for a total of 10,496 TUDA cores, 328 Tensor cores, and 82 RT cores. The RTX 3090 also has 24GB of GDDR6X video memory on a 384-bit bus, resulting in 936GB slashes of memory bandwidth, nearly a terabyte of data per second. Anyone who conducts significant 3D rendering work in tools like DaVinci Resolve and Blender will benefit greatly from having such a large allocation of VRAM that is this quick. And when your job requires these apps, anything that helps shorten project timelines saves you money in the long run. Number 1. AMD Radeon RX 7800 XT With the release of Navi 32, as well as the RX 7800 XT and RX 7700 XT, AMD has finalized its new RDNA 3 GPU family. The 7800 XT is clearly the better of the two cards. It's up to 20% faster and just 11% more expensive. That's not to claim it's a complete win. It's also only 5% faster than the old RX 6800 XT and has the same $500 starting price. It does, however, have a few advantages. Although overall performance is only marginally enhanced, the 7800 XT uses approximately 45 even less power than the 6800 XT in our testing. Alternatively, it offers about the same performance as the 6900 XT while consuming less power and costing less online. 
It also includes AV1 encoding capability and DP 2.1 video output, as well as better computing and AI capabilities. It's roughly 45% quicker in stable diffusion than the 6800 XT, for example. Geyser concludes our top 5 best 1080p GPU of 2024 list. All product links are in the description, which is updated with the lowest prices. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until then, we'll see you in the next video.